Jess and welcome to Soundcheck. This week we're back at Certificate 18 to catch up with Taco to check on the progress of the Battle of the Bands competition. Hello Taco. Hello Jess, <laughs> how are you? I'm alright, how are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. So we're about halfway through the Battle of the Bands. That's right, just coming to the end of uh, the first round as it were. Yeah, how's it going? Excellent, so far. Um, a lot of the bands have uh, been playing, you know, I think everybody's left either happy or well if they leave after having lost. Uh, I think they've generally still enjoyed the experience. Um, yeah, so in general it's, it's been going okay, the attendance has been good, um, the, the audience have enjoyed themselves as well. It's, I've tried to keep it as diverse as possible. Yeah. Um, I think as you were witness to on Wednesday, uh, it we, had, cool. we had it was <laughs> Scar, extremely heavy metal, a bit of rock, you know, it's just getting an, was it a, a journeyist. <laughs> exactly. It was absolutely, it's, it's been a good mix. Um, but yeah, there's, there's, there's so many different bands in it. You go from um, digital, you know, the industrial metal, right. um, straight through to, we've had like bands like Airheads, which are just good indie music, and they've yeah. got um, Hypersonic Quest, the, the ska band, and um, we've got a Swamp Rock and Rotten Karma. So there's many, many different styles. And right. I think that's, that's what the, the whole battle of the bands should be kind of about. It shouldn't yes. be yeah. towards a certain genre. So we're finding that that's working for us. It's, right. it's pretty good. It's pretty good. We're, getting to the be- we're getting to the best bits now. <laughs> it's getting so. exciting. It is, yeah. We've got um, basically, uh, you know, we're getting to round two now, which is kind of yeah. the quarterfinals, really. Right. Um, and the, the, the bands that are involved, and obviously, you know, the, the, the other ones have gone, and now the, the, the kind of the class, and it gets a bit tighter, and more people sort of tend to come to those. And so it's getting exciting for them as well. Yeah. So there's two more slots to fill, um, right. as it were. Uh, and that'll be on next, this Wednesday as well, be coming through, and then we'll know. The full lineup for the quarters, right. and then into the semis, ah. and they'll get more <laughs> exciting. But yeah, it's all good. So uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to ask, but have you got any uh, sort of personal favourites at the moment? Or Ooh, <laughs> is that a bitch? I don't. I don't think I could answer that. I mean, it's it's one of those. It's a funny thing is where um, people often kind of. Uh, because I'm nothing to do with the judging or anything like that, yeah. um, and people often ask, you know, who? But if, if I was to sort of say something like, "Oh, well, I think they're going to win," yeah. and if they then do win, they're going to go, "Yeah, right, we saw, <laughs> we know, we know what that's about." Um, but no, there's there's a few. Um, we've all kind of got predictions and things like that, you know, behind the bar and stuff. I think two of the bar staff have actually made a bet uh, between each other to see who's going to win. Ah. Um, but the funny thing is that they're both in the same heat in the next round. Right. So, you know, one of them could be uh. down a fiver already. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, this uh, favourites, it's kind of difficult. I mean, like I said, from all the different styles, um, if I could choose the final, you know, I would probably go for or, or five different bands that are completely different yeah. styles. So you've got that band is kind of the best in, in doing metal and that band's the best at sort of doing the indie music and all this kind of stuff. So um, are most of the bands that have entered, have they sort of been established a long time then? Or have you got any new A lot ones? of bands um, have, but we've got quite a few new ones. There's MBLA right. or Mumbler or whatever they <laughs> decide to call themselves. Um, again, very good. Uh, two bass players, no guitars and drums right. and everything like that, and no vocals. Just <laughs> absolute, just pure music right. and absolutely brilliant. You know, yeah. really, the, really very good players. I think um, the man is made up of one guy who's in Hijack Oscar plays bass for Hijack Oscar, right. and the other guy plays so bass for well National Grid. They, they yeah. are indeed, yeah. yeah, but they're a very good band as well. Right. Um, and so that, that, that was their, their first heat was their first gig, oh. and I think Barry and the Bad Lads as well. I think it was their first gig as well, yeah. and also um, there was another band last week. And I think it was their first gig, and they were very nervous, obviously. Um, but they had a great time, and, and the audience really enjoyed them because right. yeah, they brought their friends down, and they, were, they thought everybody was going to boo them and nobody was going to want to listen, but they got a really good response. Oh, yeah. So we've got those, and we've got like Digicore, who are obviously um, FIB is champion still reigning because they haven't got a Battle of the Bands this year. Um, so they've been around for a little while. Rotten Karma have been working for quite a few years. Um, so yeah, there's, 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 a, there's a few interesting ones in there, a few new ones, but yeah, Excellent. it's going to be, yeah. it's, that's what I like about it, you know, everybody gets a chance, you know, the, the, the established ones can also kind of impart a bit of, uh, um, I suppose, uh, advice onto the younger bands as well, sort of, I've said to them, you know, the ones who are first bands have watched them because, you know, that's why, and they're a bit more, and they, once you've had four or five gigs under your belt, you know, you start knowing what a live experience is like, and, and you learn, and it's, it's, uh, it's yeah. exciting. I love it. I do. I do enjoy the Battle of the Bands, Yay. just because it's it's so different, you know, yeah. and it's not like just one different at night. Um, yeah, good fun. Yeah, absolutely. It's great. The other thing I wanted to ask you, Taco, if, if a band wanted to come and have a night here, come mm-hmm. and play down here, how would they get in touch with you to do that? Uh, generally, the best way to go about it is to send us an email or to. Yeah. Um, to hook up with us on MySpace and send me a message through there. Okay. Uh, because generally all I, all I need to know is um, 
you know, where are the band from? Uh, if it's your band, obviously that's a lot easier for us to, yeah. to kind of put them on. Okay. Uh, so I can listen to the song, listen to the style. So, uh, you know, if I've got a certain night and need another band on and, uh, you know, it's all metal, then I can find a metal band. Yeah. Um, so that's generally how it works. Um, a lot of the time we do work with, with other promoters. Um, so generally I might sort of say, you know, get in touch with the promoters, they might be able to help you on a different night um, if I haven't got anything available at the time for my own nights, as it were. So there's, they're all listed on our MySpace, all the promoters and all the, the dance and DJ events that we work with are all in our top friends. Yeah. So it's easy enough to do, yeah. Exactly, go straight on to Cert 18 York, MySpace yeah. slash Cert 18 York. <laughs> And there you will, uh, it's updated, I'm on there all the time, it's terrible really, it's all the time on that PC, but there we go. Okay, thank you very much, thank you Taco, and uh, good luck with the rest of the competition. Well, thank you very much Jess, <laughs> thank you for saying <laughs> <laughs>